Hello, we're in Lent. This is Father Louis Skirty, and I welcome you to Friends of the Word. We're in the Lenten season, and it's a great opportunity for us to have some introspection and also look at Jesus and bring him into our hearts as we examine more closely what he wants of each of us and basically what we want and what we should want in our goal as Christians. Thank you for joining us, and let me hear from you, Father Louis Skirty at Hotmail.com, and keep the Lenten prayers alive and well. God bless you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day he will be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a day in which the scriptures challenge us, but each day the scriptures challenge us. And you notice I'm wearing a collar under my album. Not, you don't usually notice it because I have a different kind of album. The reason for that is because I started my day off by reading on the feast and birthday of Dr. Seuss to fourth graders in Halden. What an appropriate way to begin a day, celebrating someone who's 113 today. He's not alive. Um, and, and the book I read was Happy Birthday, uh, Dr. Seuss. The kids were great. Very dynamic couples. The kids very, very uh, outgoing. And tomorrow, Amory and a few members of the Friends of the Word crew are going to the United Nations. And there we're going to interview uh, the Apostolic Observer, at the United Nations, uh, Archbishop Alza. So from Halden Public School fourth grade to Mass today and to the UN tomorrow, we have quite a, quite a few days planned. And I say all of that because Jesus is talking today about following us, and, and he says, for, uh, him, us following him, and he says, unless you take up your cross, most of us regrettably think of, oh, the cross, you know, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my son, my daughter, my spouse, my best friend, they're my cross, you know, and it's negative. The cross Jesus is using in the Gospel of Luke is the Tau, you know, the cross that, that St. Francis made famous, and today is the feast of one of the poor Clares, another Franciscan, by the way, um, and it was just a T, T-shape, it was Tau. And the idea of the Tau at the time of Jesus, it was called the cross, was complete. It was like saying A to Z. Someone says A to Z to us today, we know it means whole, everything, all of it. The Tau, the cross that Jesus is using as a reference, but of course it has so many different meanings in his life, is the Tau, the complete. Uh, now listen, listen to the quote this way. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up life daily, completely, and follow me. Everything. Not just the sad parts, not just the joyous parts, but life. Whether life is inhaled in New Jersey, Wayne, New Jersey, United Nations, doesn't matter. We're all challenged daily to be a sign of Christ in the world. Now, we have an option course, we're in this season of Lent, 
But the options are very interesting because from the book of Deuteronomy today, Moses is quoted as saying, I've set before you life and prosperity, death and doom, and accept the commandments that I enjoin upon you and walk in my ways. We have choices, and it's our choices that give us life or doom, heaven or hell, death or resurrection. It's our choices. Yes, that stuff will happen at the end of our lives, physical lives on earth, but it's happening now. The choices we, we undertake now define who we are and send a message to others as to who we are. The choices we make each day, reflecting how we believe in Jesus and how we reflect that belief in the supermarket, in the soup kitchen, at our own tables, in schools, in the neighborhood. So Jesus is saying, you know, I, I know I'm going to have a rough life. I'm coming here, son of man, meaning himself, which was a, a concept that was bigger than life. The son of man was not only a person, but it was the fulfillment of humanity, son of man. David used it, Old Testament characters used it, Jesus used it. And eventually, we come to realize that it's, it's him. He's talking about himself, the Son of Man, the Son of Man. So he says, even me, I come from the Father as the Messiah. This is paraphrasing. But I will be rejected. I will be killed. But I will be raised on the third day. We reflect on this because this is the reason we focus on ourselves during Lent, make that introspective journey, and then each day bring the results of that journey to the world. With faith, our lives aren't marked by the cross. Our lives are marked by the cross and resurrection. We are Christians. We've been blessed with the gift of the Father of the life of his son. So our attitudes are so significant. How we take care of each day as we meet it, as we take care of responsibilities, as we take care of the things that are down in our lives. Whether they're accidents, deaths, illnesses, always with the optimism of the resurrection. Living each day with the idea of the resurrection. So we have these 40 days. And it's good that during these 40 days, we're going to focus very often, I think, in the scriptures, on our weaknesses or sins. It's all right. It's good. Because we need to refresh ourselves and prepare ourselves. So we have to look at our mistakes, our failings, regrettably, the things we did on purpose, which aren't mistakes, they're absolute sins, against God and against our neighbors. And then with the challenge to go forward toward the resurrection. In 40 days, a journey in which we're asked to take up our cross, follow Jesus completely, A to Z.